the Kaiser Aluminum Hour. Presented by... Kaiser Aluminum, the bright star of metal. Tonight, live from New York, the Kaiser Aluminum Hour, presented by the Kaiser Aluminum and Chemical Corporation, brings you another in its series of unique dramatic programs. should have killed him, or her, or myself. My name is Lou Daniels, and I'm manager of the New York Titans Baseball Club. And what have Romeo and Juliet over there got to do with Major League Baseball? Just watch. Tom? Ma'am? Tom, I've been thinking. What the heck of a time for that? Tom, well, I'm serious. If that Mr. Daniels takes my brother Chubb off to play professional baseball, well, then Chubb would have to leave this farm, wouldn't he? Yes, ma'am. Then maybe you wouldn't have to work for Pa as a hired hand anymore. Maybe Pa would take you in as a partner. I'm available. And then we could afford to get married right away. You still available? Yes, ma'am. You? You I love, cause your arms make me feel at home. You I love, cause a tingle when we kiss. You I love, cause your lips are my honeycomb. Ain't the honey sweet as this? You I love, cause your touch keeps amazing me. You I love, cause you give me butterflies. You I love. Cause my heart ricochets in me When I'm gazing in your eyes I'm yours exclusively And you're my private property I just can't wait till we Go up on the honeymoon Soon, 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 soon I like sunshine And I like the falling rain I like Dreams in the hills that rise above. I like moonlight and haystacks and fields of grain, but you. I love. I'm yours exclusively, and you're my private property. I just can't wait till we go up. On a honeymoon, soon, 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 soon. I like space where we'll plant things and watch them grow. I like plans like the house we're dreaming of. I, I like, like kids that'll grow to resemble so the you. I love. You wouldn't think a smart baseball man like myself could get mixed up with a couple of squares like that. But I did. And all that smooching. That meant the difference between ending up in the second division or winning the pennant, that's all. Of course, I don't expect you to believe it. Nobody does. Nobody ever will. But I can prove it. Just stick around and I'll show you how it happened. moment, we'll continue with Act One of the Kaiser Aluminum Hour. If you need to rescreen for summer, get the amazing new screening that blocks out summer heat as well as summer insects. It's Shade Screen by Kaiser Aluminum, the window screen that keeps your home up to 15 degrees cooler. You see, ordinary screen lets hot sun pour right through, like this, heating up your room. But Kaiser Aluminum Shade Screen stops hot sun like magic. Yet daylight and cool breezes pass right through. 
The secret is Shade Screen's tiny slanted louvers, 17 to the inch, that bounce off the hot rays of the sun and keep out flies as well as other flying insects. Shade Screen is easy to maintain, too. It never rusts, never needs painting. During IRHA Hardware Week, April 25th through May 4th, Shade Screen will be a feature value at 23,000 IRHA stores from coast to coast. Be sure to visit your local dealer. <coughs> this where Chubb Evans lives? Hey! Hey, you must be Mr. Daniels. That's right. Chubb's been expecting you all day. He's down at the barn with Pa. We've been expecting a heifer, too. Let's see. Hey, Chubb! Chubb! <whistles> He's here! Yeah. Oh, boy, he'll come a-runner now. Right. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you too much. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. This is Mr. Tom Watts. He's our hired hand. Howdy. Hi. I like your working conditions, Tommy boy. Oh, engaged. I should hope so. <laughs> Chubb, this is Mr. Lou Daniels. Mr. Daniels, I've been expecting you. Take it easy, son. I'm wearing a valuable watch. Don't he look like a big leaguer, though? Well, I'll tell you after I watch him catch a few. You can pitch him into me yourself, hard as you can. Oh, no, wait a minute. My arm isn't a champion. Spring training doesn't start until tomorrow. Never mind, Mr. Daniels. Tom, fetch a glove, will you? Right. We always keep an emergency pitch on hand. Good. Now, you just stand right there, Mr. Daniels, and watch me handle that ball. Wait a minute. Are you a southpaw? You bet. A left-handed catcher. Now I've seen everything. All right, baby. Now put it in here. Here we go. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's see some of that old pepper in there. Wait a minute. Hi. I guess I haven't seen everything. Miss, did you just throw that baseball? Oh, it's sure thing, Mr. Daniels. Anything wrong? I don't know yet. Go ahead, keep pitching. Okay. Come on, Chubby Honey. Show him what you got now. It's your big chance. Here we go, honey. Atta boy! Did you see him catch that ball, Mr. Daniels? I don't believe it. An in curve and an out curve on the same pitch? We're crying out loud, sis. I didn't call for a curve that time. Oh, gee whiz, Chubb, I'm sorry. The ball just got away from me. I hadn't touched a baseball all week, you know. She just has to get a little warmed up, Mr. Daniels. Then you see me handle her fast still. Son, I've seen plenty. Young lady, where did you learn to throw a baseball like that? Crows. Crows? Yeah, crows in the cornfield. I used to toss rocks at them. After a while, I got so I could hit them on the fly. She's got stuff when she's right. She could pitch a no-hitter for our town team every time out. But we don't let her play anymore. Why not? She killed somebody? Well, no, it ain't right for big girls to play baseball. And it ain't right for a girl to have a curve like that, either. Go ahead, young lady, throw in a couple of more. Sure thing. The double doodle, sis, and try and put something on it this Here's time. Up. Watch me handle this one. What's the double doodle? Oh, that's my little old slider. Got kind of a reverse twist on the end of it. You ready, Mr. Daniels? No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. This one I gotta catch myself. Something the matter, Mr. Daniels? Give me that minute second, son. I gotta find out if this is real. All right, now, young lady. The double doodle and give me everything you've got. You sure that's what you want, Mr. Daniels? Yeah. The double doodle. Okay. No wonder we're a second division ball club with such a screwball manager. The Dodgers hired a clown, and I'm stuck with his understudy. I'm telling you, Daniels, if you didn't have an ironclad contract, I'd fire you right now. A girl, a female pitcher, get out. But I'm telling you, Mr. Rockman, she almost broke my hand with a fastball. Are you sure she didn't hit you in the head with a ball? Look, get her on the phone. Bring her down here. By tomorrow afternoon, you can see her pitch. See her pitch? It even sounds ridiculous. What are you trying to do? Be the Phil Spitalini of baseball? Look, Mr. Rockman, I'll make a deal with you. After you watch this girl pitch, if you personally don't sign her, I personally will let you out of my ironclad contract. I won't have to pay you? Not a cent. Edna, get me long distance. No, charge it to Mr. Lou Daniels. For a chance to get out of your contract, I'd watch Little Orphan Annie pitch. Me? A girl baseball pitcher? <laughs> Mr. Daniels, who ever heard of such a silly thing? Now, look, look, Miss Evans, uh, Josephine, we're like pioneers, you and me. We're, we're breaking new ground. We're breaking through the baseball barrier. Well, maybe you understand $25,000. What? 
I said 25. Will you please keep quiet? You said 25,000. 30, 40,000, anything she wants. Did you say 40,000? You, you, you said 45,000? You, 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 you said 40,000? I did. He did. Oh, hang up, honey, quick. Mr. Daniels, I don't know what to say. Say no, honey. Well, now, I... I say yes. Tom, honey, wait up there. I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. Daniels. Goodbye. Tom, honey, wait up there. Will the newspapers get wind of this? A girl pitcher. The papers aren't going to get wind of this. Nobody is. After you sign her. If I sign her. I said after you sign her. We'll keep all the reporters out of spring training camp. She's going to be our own private secret weapon. Until opening day in New York, then boom, we spring her. Or you. What's the matter, Mr. Rockman? Don't you have any faith in me? Of course I do. Uh, Edna, get Mr. Daniel's contract out of the safe and put it in the pending file. And oh, uh, by the way, uh, get me Leo DeRoche's phone number. Tom? Tom, honey, don't you know why I had to say yes to Mr. Daniels? I guess it's pretty hard to say no to $40,000. Go traveling up to New York City, being famous. I guess I can understand. You sure don't talk like you do. Well, what do you expect me to say? I'm happy. The girl's leaving me. Leaving the farm. Leaving all the things we've been planning for. But, honey, if I'm a big hit in baseball like Mr. Daniels says I could be, gee, we could buy us things we haven't even thought up yet. You mean you, you're still planning for us to get married? That's the whole idea. Well, a fellow figures to marry a wife, not a baseball player. Oh, Tom. I'm going to be your wife forever. But I'll be a baseball player just one little old season. Well, I haven't waited this long. I guess I can wait just one little old season. Maybe you can, but I can't. Now, hold on, now, hold on. We both just got to control ourselves. Why? Why can't we just up and get married? You mean now? Today? I can't think of a better day for it. The sun is smiling in a clear blue sky. The trees are singing as the breeze goes by. I've never seen the world so bright and gay. What a wonderful wedding day. Yahoo! All done with sewing on the wedding gown. Our city cousin here from out of town. And all our friends and neighbors pass this way. Day. They've brought a lot of pretty flowers. Folks are dressed up nice. I can see them getting set to throw some shoes and rice. Gee, ain't there a crowd inside? Some have got to stand. Here comes the boxing. With the good book in his hand. When balls are taken, and you say I do. Gonna have a party for inviting you. He'll dance and sing and join us as we say. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful wedding. What a wonderful wedding. What a wonderful wedding day. again, especially when it's going to be my best season behind that plate. <laughs> I'm in the pink right now, ain't I, Lucy May? In the pink, honey. You down here to meet somebody, Skipper? Yeah. Must be somebody important. Yeah. A ball player? Yeah. Mind you, getting a personal reception from the manager. Must be some ball player. Yeah. Gee. 
A new catcher? A pitcher. Oh, boy, oh, we could sure use a new sure pitcher. We could. Come on. <laughs> Josephine. Oh, baby, am I glad to see you. This is Mr. and Mrs. Bud Masters, Josephine Evans. What? What? No, it's what with an F on the end of it. Oh, oh. Daniel. You didn't. You couldn't. You aren't. Sure, I got the ring right here next to Everything. Don't show it to me. Don't show it to me. What for? You couldn't wait, could you? You couldn't wait. I'm having enough trouble selling old man Rockman on this idea. You had to do this. Do what? We just got married, that's all. Oh, congratulations. Oh, sure, congratulations. I congratulations. Said I'd have Please. Just got married, he says. Well, my fine feathered enemy, spring training is no place for a honeymoon. Ask Bud here. That's right. Push ups and cross country runs, calisthenics. Pitching that ball, your old arm falls off. Take it back and practice till you're too stiff to move. Sliding practice. Charlie horses in every joint. Raspberries on every side. Daniel, it's only because it gave us enough money to get married in the first place that I ever agreed to come down. What's the big secret, Skipper? Never mind. Look, if I'm going to catch this guy, I got to know someday. Yeah, I guess you do with that. Come here. You see, he's not the new pitcher I'm bringing up. He isn't? No. Well, who is? Her. <laughs> <laughs> What's holding you players up? I want this game over with. And that female hurler out of here as fast as possible. Why aren't you in uniform? We can't get in the locker room, boys. What's stopping you, Egghead? She's in there. Oh, trying to be one of the boys, huh? We was right in the middle of getting dressed when this dame walks in with all her wives. Her wives kick us out. Ladies first, they say. Ladies first. Well, that does it. I want you boys to get out on that field and plaster that baseball over every fence in this park. It's up to us to prove that this game of baseball is a man's game in a man's world. It's a man's game. It's a man's world. It's a man's game. Now you get it. It's a man's world. My team. We say again and again that. The game of baseball is for men. Men only. Today we've got athletic women bustling in the games. Hammer heaving. Channel swimming. Discus throwing games. There's hardly any places where men are safe from doom. Yeah. Except the game of baseball. And the player's locker room. It's a man's game. That's our it's locker room. It's a man's world. world. We're going in. It's a man's game. game. And throw them things on. This is our locker room. Not anymore, it isn't, Egghead. Times have changed. And Joe changed them. Yeah, well, if we don't get our gear, we don't play. Give it to him, girl. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Now, this here is the boundary line. And from there on back is no man's land. You hear? Why don't she go back where she came from? Yeah. Joe belongs here. That's right. Good for you. She's come a long way from the kitchen, and here she will remain. When I gal get pitch up, boys, you better pray for rain. And how us women need her to change the status quo. A little girl's our leader, and her name is Mighty Joe. So try one. We never should have given them the vote. She'll sprain her little footsies when she hits the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Off her tootsies. Her wotsies will get hurt. The lady shouldn't suffer such indignity. She'll have a couple bumps where bumps shouldn't be. Oh, you think you're so funny, huh? Wait till she starts to throw. Yakety yak to save her. Well, might a mighty joke. Yeah. Oh, and she makes a curtsy when they boo her from the stand. Yeah. And uses roots horizon and pitches the hair. On the alley, babe. Throw your bottom fly ball, dearie. Ready or not, here it comes. Right oh, down his throat. 
as much of it as I can. I want a partition in the player's locker room with a separate shower on the other side and a separate entrance. Never mind what for. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, I, wa I want you to put on the new door the word ladies. Yes, I did say ladies. Well, my boy, you're an unadulterated genius. Did you ever see anything like her? I've already ordered a third tier for the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play every game to standing room only. <laughs> Maybe you ought to call the printer and order World Series tickets. Oh, oh I already did. <laughs> oh, you think of everything. I... <laughs> well, if you boys are in here to collect your World Series money, you'll have to wait till October. And I suggest you vote Josephine two shares. Three. Tell him, Egghead. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, you tell him it was your idea. Okay. We just had an emergency meeting in the locker room, and it was decided that we won't play baseball with no Dave. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You decided. We huh? voted. Unanimous. Even after she pitched a no-hitter against you, huh? Look, Skipper, this thing is bigger than baseball. If we allow this, we're not only undermining the whole game, but we'll be a traitor to our whole sex. Yeah, You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 so speaking for every man on earth, e either this uh, Josephine goes or we go. Uh, you know what to do, Lou. I'm way ahead of you, Mr. Rockman. Uh, call me Cyrus. Fine. Here you are, boys. Share this amongst you. Go on. Everyone gets one. Here you are. Here you are. Don't worry about them. Pass them out. What, a, get one. what are these? Release forms. You mean you'd let us go? Is he kidding? With Josephine pitching for us, we can win the pen with eight other guys nobody ever heard of. Or eight other girls. I'll buy that, Cyrus. <laughs> Call me Cy. <laughs> Maybe we better go have another meeting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our yeah, first well, meeting wasn't even legal. We didn't have no quorum. No, Why don't you hold another know. meeting right here? All those in favor of having Josephine play on the team, raise your hands. All against. Christopher never was any bother why he went on solid food before he was a year old. Huh? Our doctor was 
It's so old-fashioned. Pablum, pablum, pablum. I thought it would come out of Candy's ears. Well, you know what Doctor says, don't you? Honey, everybody knows what Dr. Socks says. <laughs> it's your deal, honey. Oh, sweetie, it's your deal. We look into the back line. We sure did. We made four spades. I still say positive. And an old buddy, a 15-month-old child, feed himself before he can really handle his time. Oh, Christopher wouldn't let me feed him. Why, he spit the food right out unless I let him feed himself. Oh, oh the mess the candy made. You wouldn't believe it. Apricots in her hair. Prunes all over the wall. Of course, you know what Dr. Gazelle says. Honey, everybody knows oh, what Dr. Gazelle says. Would say. you ladies excuse me? What's the matter, Mr. Watts? Don't you like her? It's not that exactly. I'm getting a little tired of waiting for Joe. That no, we baseball wives do a lot of waiting. Oh. That's why we play bridge, honey. You see, we have this little club, and then we sit in a special box at the game, and then we go down the beach and we share a bath house. Well, that's very nice, Mrs. Ma just one bath house? Well, that's just to cut down expenses, honey. Well, Mrs. Masters, I'm a husband. I know you are. Well, golly, that's right. Well, then I guess you have to have a separate bath house. But in all other respects, you're going to be just like one of us wives, isn't it, Laura? Yeah. Wait till you see that beautiful ocean water and that beautiful white sand down there. He's just going to love it. Well, golly, I wonder what's all got into her, him. You I love, oh, you lovely little Joe. You, you, honey, honey, we made it. Look, a check for $10,000. That's just the first installment. Oh, you signed their contract, huh? Right after the game was over, they had this check all made out. Just think, $10,000. All because I've got a little old dipsy do. What's the matter with you? Oh, nothing. Now, nah, honey, let's not start our married life keeping things from each other. Some married life. Married you know, I tried to get in there after the game was over, and I couldn't. But this place is barred to wives, you know, without a pass. It's a heck of a note when... <laughs> when a fellow can't even see his own wife without a... Without a pass. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you are love, <laughs> Mrs. Tom Watts. Say it again. You are love, the whole thing, Mrs. Watts. Watts, what do you think you're doing? Kissing. Well, cut that out. Knock it off. She happens to be my wife. But well, she happens to be my pitcher. Under contract to me. Just a darn minute, you two. You can't tell me what I can do with my wife. And don't tell me what I can't do with my pitchers. She's no different than the rest of the squad. Oh. Not when it comes to training regulations, anyhow. Now, look, Mr. Rockman, you may own this ball club, but you don't own my wife. Didn't read the small print in your contract, did you? Joe, now look, I came over to tell you some reporters may be hanging around the hotel tonight. Mm -hmm. Now, not a word about our contract. A slip of the lip can sink a ship. Okay. Get me? <laughs> Better go get your rub down, kid. Sure thing, Lou. Rub down just her arm. Now, I think it's about time we got a few things straightened out around here. That's a good idea, Tommy boy. Now, just sit down, relax, take it easy, and I'll give you the whole bit. Tell them the score, Lou. Well, from now until we win the World Series, you've got a wife in name only. She's going to be occupied night and day. Uh, tell them the rules and regulations. Well, every player, and that includes both sexes, has got to be up and on the diamond at 8 a.m. sharp. In full uniform. We practice every day, all day. Seven days a week. All meals should be taken at the club's training table. And that's for players only. Right. Last but not least, every player shall be in bed at 9 p.m. sharp. With the lights out. Right. Any violation of these rules will result in heavy fines by the management. Which happens to be me. Of course. That's telling them, Lou. Thanks a lot. <laughs> It's after nine, you know. Oh, uh, look, Boy Scout, you can just skip this room from now on. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, but uh, I, I can't. Mr. Daniels says I got to check on all the players, especially rookies like Joe. Out! Room is room. Honey? Joe, Joe, let's get out of here. Why, well, Cat, it's after nine o'clock. I'm talking about forever. I don't think I can put up with this. J just because Egghead came in here with a flashlight? It's not just Egghead, it, it, it's everything. Rules, regulations, bad check. You eating at the training table, me eating alone. Me playing bridge with the other wives. Slide and practice. Raspberries on your thighs. Rub downs. I can't even tell my own wife without a program. Oh, honey. I know it's tough on you now, but just try to be patient. After all, the baseball season ends in October. 
And after that, we're going to be together forever. Nice and warm, nice and warm. Keep your arms nice and warm. It's going to be a cold, cold winter. And your kiss, and your kiss. Keep it burning like this. It's going to be a cold, cold winter. By the fire, by the fire, we'll see through the frosty pane. All the snowing, blowing, why should we complain? Nice and warm, we will cling, nice and warm till the spring. It's gonna be a cold, cold winter. Nice and warm. When we nice huddle, we warm, get so cuddly. Hold me near, nice and who cares warm. if it's the north wind blows? Concentrating and on radiating and hibernating like bears. If the north be wind blows, <laughs> by the fire, by the fire, we'll see burn the frosty fire. Your arms sublime and my temperature's climbing, so why should we complain? Nice and warm. Lips are rosy, can keep me cozy nice and warm till the spring. It's gonna be a cold. It's gonna be a cold. It's gonna be a cold, cold winter. <laughs> In just a moment, we'll return with Act Two of the Kaiser Aluminum Hour. Jimmy, look here. The garden equipment is out in the rain. Gee, Dad, I forgot to take them in. Well, don't worry. They're aluminum. Yes, why worry when garden tools are made with aluminum? Rain and weather just can't hurt aluminum. It never rusts, never rots. After the rainstorm, the aluminum remains as bright and shiny as new. Today, more and more implements are made with aluminum, manufactured by customers of Kaiser Aluminum. Aluminum rakes, sturdy and rust-proof. Aluminum shovels, strong, durable, and lightweight. Heavy-duty aluminum wheelbarrows, pounds lighter than standard models. That means a lot less work for you. Aluminum makes lawn care easier, too. This lightweight lawnmower, even Junior can maneuver it around the yard. And it never rusts. This water sprinkler has an aluminum base, making it easy to handle, easy to move from place to place. Works like a charm, too. Here's a new product, aluminum lawn trim. It keeps lawn edges neat and even and prevents grass from spreading. Use it next to walks or to form an attractive terraced gardenette, or around trees and gardens. It reduces tedious trimming and doesn't interfere with mowing. Here's another new idea, aluminum trellises. They're easy to install and require practically no maintenance. They last through season after season. Aluminum trellises never rust, never need painting. If you'd like to know where you can buy these aluminum garden products, simply write to gardens Kaiser Aluminum, Oakland, California. That's Gardens, Kaiser Aluminum, Oakland, California. Well, as you can imagine, spring training was a pretty wild affair. Trying to keep Josephine a secret and still get her into playing shape was no mean accomplishment. By the time the team was ready to break camp and head for New York on opening day, the eyes of the world were upon us. And the world is even bigger than Texas. So here we are, swinging up through the Grapefruit League on our way north to New York. Stopping off and losing more games than we're winning. But nobody's worried because we got our ace in the hole to spring on opening day next Monday. Even Tom's got a happy look on his face this evening, but that's got nothing to do with baseball. Hi, honey. How are two big steaks, french fries, and strawberry shortcakes, all going to be served right in here. Mmm, sounds wonderful. Mmm, boy, our first meal together, alone. Mm -hmm. 
too nervous about opening day. It's next Monday. Well, now, look, I had the bagel to let you eat with me tonight. You'd better be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and no talk about baseball. Okay. Hey, imagine. We're going to be like any other honeymoon couple tonight. Eating all by ourselves. Nothing to disturb us. Hey, now, stop fussing with you, here. Yeah. Now, come here. Next stop, Raleigh. I must be the stage. Come in. Josephine, I'm afraid I got some bad news What's for you. What's the matter? Well, some of the other teams in the league are wise to watch signs. Hey, what are you going to do? Well, we've got to have a meeting and set up a whole new set of signals. Now? Well, uh, we do have to do it now. The whole team is meeting in the dining car. But you promised us this morning. Now, look, Tommy boy, this is an emergency. Besides, I got some notes on batters I want to go over with you and Bud. Oh, You'll be through by 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? The steaks will be cold. That's not all. I'll see you in the diner. Be there, Josephine. Oh, Lou. Signals. Notes on batons. You're not going, are you? Honey, I have to. It's very important. Besides, we'll see each other later. Yeah, sure we will. We'll see each other later. Old Tommy Boy can see his wife anytime. After Rockman, Daniel, Bud, Egghead, and the whole blooming team. What are you doing? We're getting off the train. Now start packing your things. What happened? Nothing. That's the trouble. Absolutely nothing's happened. And when you get married, something's supposed to happen. That's why we're getting off this train and heading back home. But, honey, Monday's opening day. I can't get off this train. Well, I can. Alone? That's up to you, Joe. Now, I'll be outside on that platform waiting for you. And if you make the right choice, we'll go back to the farm together like a bride and groom should. Otherwise, I'll read about you in the newspapers. On the sports page. Last cold frost won't melt away. The buds won't bud on the lilac tree. My love's not here. No spring this year. No spring this year for me. The April clouds are sad and gray. No ivy clings to the garden wall. My love's not here, no spring this year, no spring this year at all. Not one robin on the lawn, the meadows bare and bleak. I haven't seen a spot of green or one trout jumping down in Holcomb's Creek. As long as he is far away, I guess that's where all the spring must be. So far from here, no spring this year, no spring this year for me. Why, we don't have any secrets from you boys. You think the Titans are stronger than last year, Mr. Rockman? They better be. No, I mean, of course they are. What do you think you'll finish, in the first division? Are you kidding? We're going to cop all the chips this year. The pennants? Yeah. And the series. What about yeah. Milwaukee and St. Louis? And Cincinnati. And how about Brooklyn? Yeah. We've got news for you boys. And you can quote us. Ah. <laughs> Here we are on the eve of this opening day. There's just a few words we must say. You, you can, can put it in print before a ball's held. A lament for the whole baseball world. Yeah. 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 
We must shed a tear for the losers this year who will cry in their beer in Milwaukee. They've got Matthews and Adcock. And Logan and Aaron. So who are they scaring? Their cupboard is barren. <laughs> Two fanatics who root in the city of beer. Our pity is more than sincere. Oh, come on. <laughs> When fans get the news that the cards have to lose, they'll be singing such blues in St. Louis. I hate to see those St. Louis cards go down. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, he'd be wearing sideburns. <laughs> Call me Ruckman and Roll. St. <laughs> Louis? Why, they got Boyer and Moon. And I'll stand the man hits. We'll, we'll tear them to bits. By June, they'll yell quits. Sure. Oh. Yeah. To the people who root. In the city of blues, we join in your sad boo-hoos. We just get the chills for the fans who want thrills in the city of Hills, Cincinnati. They've got Bailey and Bell. And Krasuski and Post. Against those guys, we'll coast. And at least we're the most. Oh, oh, to the frustrated fans in the city of Hills, We'll mention you all in our wills. Yeah, but what about the chance? The Dodgers are loaded. Why, you don't mean those miserable crumbs? Are they still in the league? Those bushes? Those bums? <laughs> our hearts, they are broke. Out of tears, we won't choke. But they're nice, gentle folk out in Brooklyn. They've got Campy. And Pee Wee. And Snyder. And Hodges. A bunch of hodgepodges. Will Schneider them Dodgers. Oh, we'll sure, lick sure. any team, no matter what league they're in. Sure we will. I will scuttle the Pirates. <laughs> Smoke the Phillies. <laughs> Skin the Cubs. Yeah. Scout the Indians. Yeah. Tomahawk the Braves. <laughs> Unravel the Red Sox. <laughs> Very easy. Wash out the White Sox. And we'll draft the Dodgers. <laughs> out to Los Angeles. We will put it in print. Before a ball's hurled, a lament, humble, a lament, humble, a lament for the whole baseball world, only. Honey, you better get to bed. Tomorrow's a mighty big day in your young life. Funny thing, Lucy May. All my life I've been dreaming about getting up to New York City, and now I'm here, and I'm dreaming about being someplace else. Are oh, you getting them lonesome blues again, honey? <laughs> you suppose he's as miserable as I am right now? Well, if I know men, and honey, I do, I bet he hasn't given you a second thought since he deserted you. Now, he didn't desert me. It was my fault. Now, don't you stop believing that male propaganda, especially on the eve of the day that you're going to emancipate your sex single-handed. Yeah, but do you think he... Misses me? Did he call you once on the phone? Did he so much as write you one little old postcard? Ah. Well, did I phone or write him? It's a man's place to reopen negotiations. No such thing, Lucy May. If we women can play baseball, well, then we can't expect to be treated like shrinking violets. I'm going to call Tom on the phone right now. Honey, you don't honestly expect him to be home, do you? Why, he's probably out gallivanting right now, squandering your hard-earned money in some nightclub, telling some baby blue-eyed man. The last cold frost won't melt away. The buds won't bud on the lilac tree. My love's not here. No spring this year. No spring this year for me. Not one robin on the lawn. The meadow's bare and bleak. I ain't seen a spot of green Or one trout jumping down at Holcomb's Creek As long as she is far away Hello. Uh, Joe? I just had to call to say hello. So how are you, Joe? Oh, I'm fine. And you? Fine. Bet you're nervous, huh? Yes. No, nervous? About tomorrow. Well, what's tomorrow? Open the day. Oh, 
Well, kinda. Is Chubb all right? Fine. And your pa's all right, too. Oh. Oh, Tom, I simply had to call to find out if you... I mean, how you... I I'm just fine, Joe. Good. And you? Fine, just fine. How are things down there on the farm? Well, fine. And up there in New York? Fine. Tomorrow's the big day, you know. Oh, what's tomorrow? Opening day. Oh, yeah. I bet you're nervous, huh? Very. I... Uh, I wouldn't be so nervous, though, if I... What, Joe? What? If, if, I, if I knew that everything was all right down there on the farm. Oh, everything's fine down here, just fine. It's too bad you couldn't be up there tomorrow. Where? Well, opening day. But I guess you're too busy. With what? The chores? Oh, yeah. Well, I better hang up. I got a chore to do right now. Tom? Uh, Tom, uh, you, you say hello to Pawn Chubb for me? Sure enough, Joe. Bye, Joe. My love's not here, no, no spring this year, no spring this year for me. No spring this year for me. Tom, you got everything in mind now? Don't forget to order the fee tomorrow and uh, call Doc Bryan about the bull. Yeah. Boy, I sure appreciate this, Tom. You taking over while I go see Joe on opening day tomorrow. Boy, can't you see it? The flags are flying and the stands all packed. Joe standing on that rubber just pitching aspirin tablets in there. Boy, can't you see it? I sure can. And I'm gonna see it, too. Oh, what do you mean? I'm going with you. Well, what about the bull? Well, if I can wait till October, so can he. Calm down, mighty Joe. I'm with you. Yeah. Knock him dead, Joe. Oh, boy. We're with you, kid. All the way there. Well, here it is, Joe. The starting lineup with your name on it. Yeah. When you walk out on that mound and they announce now pitching for the New York Titans, Josephine Watts, it'll shake the whole baseball world. Hey, boy, you know I feel pretty shaky right now. I'm a little worried about you not pitching without a warm-up. Well, hey, uh, Beanie rubbed my arm down just a little while ago. It feels pretty loose. Good. Matter of fact, I feel pretty loose all over, just like jelly. Oh, what are we worried about? On your worst day, you get out and set those Humpty Dumpty's down without a hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, I need another drink of water. How's our little secret weapon feeling now? Awful, just awful. It figures. Yeah. <laughs> Opening day nerves, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Uh, uh, let, let me talk to a minute, Mr. Daniels. I'll, I'll settle it down. Uh, come here a minute, Joe. Yeah, uh, you feel funny, huh? I sure uh, do. Kind of shaky all over. Wings, shaky ah, nervous. nothing. I'm My scared. first year up, I felt like that all the time. You know what I found? What is it? What? It's all in the breathing. Oh, yeah? Uh, you get nervous and you don't breathe yeah. right. What do you, you have to do? You got to breathe from the lungs, see? Anything, anything. See, like, like this. Like that? That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, feel better? How's that? Feel Matter better? Fact, I do feel better. I sure do, boy. What did I How tell you? That? What did I... Yeah. Hey, hey, look, maybe a little hungry, too. Yeah. I'll, I'll go down and get you a couple of hot dogs. Okay. Uh, sauerkraut. Yeah. Mustard. Yeah. Relish. Mm. Uh, uh, bowl of chili. Oh. Uh, uh, hot pizza. Oh, egghead. Uh, uh, cheese omelet. Oh, no, uh, no. Uh, some hot... Feel okay? Oh. Feel okay, Joe? Uh, oh, potato. please. Oh, I feel awful. Just awful. Look, the opening day ceremonies haven't started yet. Now, I tell you what you do. What? Go down to the dressing room, find Beanie. Tell her to give you something for a nervous stomach. Okay? Yeah. Nervous stomach. Yeah. Here I go. That's a girl. Yeah. I... Oh, no. Hey, Egghead, is she gonna be okay? Boy, she better be. Without her, we're a second division ball club. Well, look, before the game starts, I'm gonna go back there and get a couple of hot dogs. How about it? Hey, uh, you go ahead. Uh, all of a sudden, I, I, I don't feel too hot. Now, Josephine, you just stay put, and I'll get you something from first aid. Oh, I'll be right here, Beanie. Oh, brother. Oh, me! 
You're okay. I feel better, hey, Josephine? Know, as a matter of fact, I feel the better. The governor's right itching to throw out the first ball. Yeah, well, I got something to tell you. Sure, right after the game, we can have a nice long chat. Right now, they're waiting for you out there. Yeah, but see, I'm not going to be able to pitch today. You hear that? She's not going to be able to pitch today. How she's about that? She's not going to be able to pitch hey, today. Hey, baby, I bet you'll go what? out there. What? You won't be able to pitch. That's right, gee, Mr. Rockman, I sure feel awful about that. I thought you said you felt fine. She well, did I... say she feels fine. But even if she didn't. Well, who says she didn't? I say even if she didn't. That's no reason for her not to pitch the opener. Of course not. Dizzy Dean pitched 12 innings with a broken toe. In agony. I was no. coaching in that game. I no, remember it no, very well. Mr. Rockman, please, I don't have a broken toe. See, I... You see, it's purely psychosomatic. That's no, what it is. She no. misses her husband. Nonsense. Christy Matheson pitched a one-hitter. On the same day, his sweetheart ran away with his third baseman. That's right. What was her name? Matilda, wasn't no, it? No, no, Ethel. No, no, it wasn't Ethel. No, 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 it was Jean. Matilda. Wait, it was not Jean. No, no, it was no, not Jean. Uh, it what was difference does it make? It was only a scratch hit. Yeah, but Mr. Rock. Now, don't you I understand, would... Josephine? The game must go on. He's right. Neither snow, nor rain, nor gloom of night can stay the pitcher from his appointed mound. That's true. But, but I want to... Nobody can come in. I'm going to see my wife. Come, come, oh, honey. Joe, I've missed you so. I've missed you. I'm so glad you're here. Honey, if you oh, want to be a pitcher, it's okay with me. Oh, boy, tell me, boy, am I, am I glad to see you. He's here now. You're okay. You can go yeah. out and pitch. Sure oh, she can't. She'll pitch a no-hitter now, won't you? A no-hitter? Huh? I discovered it. She won't even give a walk. They'll never even see her today. She's going to be so fat. No, no, no. no. Wait a minute. Let me tell you about how great she's going to be. They're going to be... Please let me say something, just one thing. Honey, I'm going to have a baby. Yeah! Oh, Marvelous, wonderful! Oh, she's going to have a baby! <laughs> You're fired. Who cares? Hey, what's going on here? Are we going to play ball or not? You're going to play ball, but I'm not. I'm going to have a baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, mother like Josephine, it's going to be the greatest pitcher that ever lived. Sure is. Oh, boy, and he's going to pitch no hitters exclusively for the Titans. Oh, yeah, but, but, but what if he turns out to be a she? Yeah. Huh? Oh. Well, the minute she picks up a baseball, I'm going to hand cover to the bedpost. <laughs> and I'm going to make one thing plain to her about baseball. Yeah. It's a man's game. It's a man's game. It's a man's game. It's a man's world. It's a man rule the world. But the women always run the man. Well, that's how it all turned out. Of course, I'm still managing the Titans. Tom is trying to ma manage Josephine. And incidentally, the baby turned out to be a he. And the kid is under contract for Mr. Rockman. Call me Sly. <laughs> it's a man's game in a man's world. It's a man's game in a man's world. It's a man's 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 Just a moment, a word about the next presentation on the Kaiser Aluminum Hour. Picture of a family about to leave its cares behind. What a wonderful way to get away from it all. No honking horns or traffic jams out here. Yes, this is the life. A life that more and more American families are enjoying every year because of aluminum. Boats like these, made by customers of Kaiser Aluminum, are now within the reach of every American family budget. Today, an aluminum boat gives you more for your money than any other type. Aluminum construction is so durable that it eliminates almost all maintenance. There are no leaky seams to caulk, no need for constant scraping and repainting. Even in salt water, aluminum cannot rot, rust, or warp. An aluminum boat is extra safe, too. The hull, made of tough, special alloys, is watertight, and practically puncture-proof. It is able to withstand stresses far beyond normal requirements. Built-in flotation compartments will keep it afloat even when completely swamped. Aluminum keeps a boat cooler, too, because it dissipates heat into the water faster than other materials. For the man who carries his boat with him, a lightweight aluminum hull is the perfect answer. It can be easily trailed behind his car, and in most cases, it can be beached or launched by one person. 
Aluminum is also used extensively in modern outboard motors. These quiet, dependable beauties are a far cry from the cranky noisemakers of yesteryear. Aluminum makes them rugged and durable, makes possible higher horsepowers and lower weights than ever before. Yes, this is certainly the life. This summer, why not put your family afloat? At your local marine showrooms, you'll find boats and motors made by customers of Kaiser Aluminum to fit every need and every pocketbook. Boats made more economical, more durable, and more efficient by aluminum. Kaiser Aluminum, the bright star of metal. Hey, extra paper, extra! It's here, the revolutionary new foil from Kaiser Aluminum. Kaiser Broiler Foil. The only foil in the world that's quilted for super strength. Look, it's so strong that a single layer can support Kaiser's Katie. There it is. Nothing but a single sheet of Kaiser broiler foil holding her up. Here, you can see for yourself. Just a sheet of foil right out of the box. The secret is this exclusive diamond pattern quilted into the foil. It gives Kaiser broiler foil amazing strength. Strength to handle the heaviest kitchen jobs easily. Wrap with it. It refuses to split. Cook with it. It's extra large to fit your broiler pan. Kaiser broiler foil. It's quilted to give it super strength. It's a wonderful foil. Try it at your house. Try household, all-purpose, and super strong Kaiser broiler foil in the red quilted box. Two weeks from tonight, the Kaiser Aluminum Hour will bring you Talent Associates' startling production of the story of a man who was chosen for a dangerous secret mission, a mission that took him into the icy, mine-infested waters beneath an enemy ship and entangled him in a web of intrigue and disaster. Be sure to see Bruce Gordon and Sally Brophy in The Man Who Vanished, two weeks from tonight on the Kaiser Aluminum Hour. Watching the Kaiser Aluminum Hour. Presented by Kaiser Aluminum, the bright star of metal. Thank you and good night.